Welcome back. Well, preparations are underway at the White House. Next Thursday, President Biden will hold his first formal news conference since taking office. Most recent past presidents, including President Donald Trump, already had a news conference by this point in their presidencies. So why did it take Biden so long? And will he take any tough questions when he finally faces reporters? Joining me right now is Kaylee McEnany. She is former Trump White House press secretary and a Fox News analyst. Kaylee, it's great to see you tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. You. Your reaction to the administration announcing this press conference more than a week away? It's an extraordinary decision, a absolutely puzzling one. Uh, Dana Perino, one of my predecessors, has commented on this network that, you know, you don't announce a press conference till the morning. I had the same role in my press office. You don't know what the news cycle is nine days in advance. We know that there's a crisis on the southern border that they refuse to acknowledge. No one knows what that will look like in nine days, but I imagine it will be worse. So she announces this, uh, Jen Psaki, the press secretary, in advance presumably to get the media off her heels, but in doing so really creates a lot of pressure on President Biden that no matter the news cycle, he will be at that podium. Well, let's not forget there is a media blackout over the border right now, Kaylee. And I know that you were there every day at that podium answering questions, whatever those questions were lobbed at you. We are hearing that there is, in fact, an unofficial gag order. The Biden administration has told the uh, patrol agents at the border to not share any information about what's going on in the migrant crisis with reporters. Yes, and now we know exactly why that gag order exists. There was a Democrat senator today who went down to look at one of these facilities, Senator Murphy, and came out and said that he was almost brought to tears by what he saw with these children. So that's why the gag order exists, because in effect, when yep. a sitting senator gets a look at it, uh, they've got to shut off the media, shut off the access, because if America saw those images, uh, there'd be a lot of pressure on President Biden. Well, it's very unfortunate to see what took place uh, with, with President Biden tripping on his way into Air Force One, the plane. We have this video here. Uh, of course, it, 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 nobody wants to see this from the commander in chief, obviously. Uh, he got to, uh, to the top and, and, and saluted and at Joint Base Andrews. But it's one day after another gaffe when he was at the podium and he actually referred to the vice president as the president. Let's roll that tape. Watch. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of a vaccination center in Arizona. President Harris, your reaction? You've got to wonder, uh, because it's becoming a pattern. He said something to the effect on the campaign trail, like the Harris-Biden ticket or his staff had insignia on one of his campaign stops uh, with that on there. So you've got to wonder uh, whether there's more to this than just the slip of the tongue. And with regard to the stairs, I, I will echo you and say that's very unfortunate. I remember following the president um, off of Marine One, and I would board those same stairs after him. And you always got a little nervous about slipping with the media watching. So it certainly can happen to, to just about anyone. It certainly can, but the media reacted when the president had the smallest of missteps. Let's roll that video. Here's the media who covered President Trump. Images like this and even his speaking uh, ability uh, or lack thereof uh, during this, um, again, undercuts their argument that Biden is a doddering old man. I've become slightly obsessed with watching President Trump Watch his step. The president himself uh, is having momentary uh, stumbles, uh, momentary lapses, and, you know, it looks straining for a word. Kaylee, I haven't seen any media talk about President Biden referring to Vice President Harris as the president so far. Have you? No, I haven't either. And when President Trump slipped on what was a slippery ramp, uh, my deputy press secretary, Judd Deere, reminded me today it was days long news cycle. Uh, literally, CNN, their morning host, brought on their chief medical expert to talk about whether it was indicative of something neurological. Their midday host brought on Chris Eliza to talk about his unsteady walk and lifting of the hand. I mean, that is what President Trump got. And today, at least as of a few hours ago, there was just one mention of this on CNN. I, 
I think the speculation mm. about President Trump uh, was totally wrong, and I think doing the same about Biden uh, is totally not the way to go. But CNN, it's just they couldn't hide their animosity for the president, along with other media outlets. Yeah, no, they could not. Kaylee, it's good to see you tonight. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Kaylee McEnany joining us up next.